Hello, everyone. Many, many thanks to Logan and Mary for putting on this conference, one of its kind, because there's a lot of work that goes into this. And I applaud you both for having the resilience and the grit and time to put on such a conference. And also for the opportunity to share some of our thoughts on this segment of Brain Bites. And with that, I'm excited to bring to you the AVAI Fiesta that's revolutionizing event planning in 2024. Now, this is going to be a talk that aims to demystify the integration of audiovisual AV and you're going to hear me use that term, and artificial intelligence, AI, in event planning, offering a brand new perspective, as well as some practical advice, industry insights, and my signature charm. And with that, let me introduce myself. My name is Anka Platon Trifan. I am the brain and energy behind Trifan Events, a production agency that is renowned for leveraging the latest AV and I technology to deliver outstanding ROI at events. As the host of the Events Demystify podcast, I am currently in the seventh season and I'm very much focusing on AI. I have been been dwelling deep into this new fascinating world. So I invite you to tap into that because there's a lot of wealth of information that a lot of my guests bring way more smarter and way more into AI than I am. Now, beyond my professional pursuits, I'm also very passionate about the neuroscience of wellness, mental and physical fitness. The reason for that is because I am a natural bodybuilding competitor. 2020 did that to me. Thanks, 2020. But also because I founded a brand new company that is focusing on that, Fit Mindful Mavens. And with that, you know, I want to bring a lot of what I've learned, a lot of the resilience that came from my training to the business world, to the event professionals that uh, sometimes struggle with doing it all, with finding the mental clarity, as well as, you know, being shredded and fit. I'm also a nerd. I've always been a nerd, which is quite surprising for some people. With a background in computer science, I have been able to carve quite a unique path for myself. And I am excited for the future, for what that might bring. Currently, I'm definitely deep in the realm of AVIT and AI. So now that we've done all of that introduction, let me take you back to my early days in AV production. Now, analog was the key word. Analog mixers, speakers, video switchers, projectors, parkants, lico lights, there was no LED inside. Wireless mics were still operating on the old frequencies. So imagine my first gig when I was tasked with delivering sound for a wedding and I was armed with nothing but enthusiasm and a set of cheap wireless mics. I had speakers, I had a mixer, all of this is analog, okay? And little did I know that the RF, which stands for radio frequency, on these mics would turn out to be my biggest adversary. The ceremony was set in this beautiful historical location, literally in the middle of a national park in Southern California, which was perfect for a wedding, but not so much for RF signals. Every time the official spoke, I kid you not, those mics crackled and popped like some kind of a mischievous soundtrack playing in the background, like this type of a hide and seek game with the officiant, the bride and groom and their vows. Now, this was not funny at the moment. It was a battle against the unseen forces of RF interference. But as any good story goes, it was also a learning curve, a real life lesson in the importance of quality equipment and the unexpected challenges of AV production. It was the day I truly understood that in the world of AV, sometimes your biggest challenges are invisible, but the lessons learned are crystal clear. 
And from those early challenges, I've grown and I've become the AV guru professional that I am today. I've watched and been a part of this fascinating evolution from analog into digital. And I've been part of it because I always wanted to stay at the tip top of change of what uh, the next thing is going to be. So the introduction of AV and AI into this industry as we see it currently, marks such a monumental shift in how we think about events, we execute events. From the days of those manual setups where every single light, sound, visual element required hands-on adjustment. And I kid you not, I've been on some sets that took forever because everything had to be adjusted by hand. Now we have moved into a digital era that has transformed event production into kind of an art form. The digital revolution made things much easier, much faster, but it's now AI that is going to take it up a notch to the next level. AI-driven event planning, event production isn't just about efficiency. It's about creating experiences that are personalized, engaging, and dare I say, magical. Now, AI in event planning means predictive analytics for, say, attendee preferences, chatbots for instant attendee support, and even AI curated content that changes in real time based on audience reaction. This shift from manual to digital and now to AI-driven planning has not only improved how we organize events, but also how we experience them. It's it's an exciting time (laughs) to be in this field. It's also constantly evolving and constantly changing and pushing the boundaries of what's possible. But as we embrace this AI-driven future, let's not forget the bedrock of any event. And because I'm a little bit biased to this, I will say that is the audiovisual experience. Without AV, Please prove me wrong, but you can take any event out there and it's going to be as bland and as lacking flavor as a meal that does not have salt and pepper and spices and all the good stuff. Okay, so AV is the magic wand in event planning and event production. It has the potential to turn a simple gathering into a very immersive journey. And it doesn't matter how small or big this gathering is. Think of it as some kind of a painting, but instead of brushes, we use light, we use sound, we use video to generate this beautiful experience. Because for instance, currently there's plenty of AV technology out there like 3D projectors that can transform a plain wall into a vivid story and that can take our attendees on a visual journey without leaving their seats. And when it comes to sound, it's not just about volume, it's about clarity, it's about placement. Imagine being in a venue where thanks to the advanced sound engineering that has been happening in the last decade, you can hear a speaker as if they're right beside you, no matter where you sit. Now, I actually experienced this at the Sphere. And for example, what they have installed there is this hollow plot X1 matrix array loudspeaker system. And they're actually modules. And the system is powered by AI and employs 3D beam forming technology and wave field synthesis. Now, if I lost you there, don't worry about it. All I'm saying is if you're going to the sphere, pay attention how the sound travels based on where you are, on your location. It's almost like it's following you because the result of this great new engineering and sound development is a multi-layered audio experience that's crystal clear, making you feel like you're part of the action, not just some kind of a spectator. In layman's terms, it's like having a personal sound bubble 
tailor made for you in a crowd of thousands. This is where AV management and production enhanced with AI tools creates a unparalleled experience. It's not just about the technicalities of things. It's about precision. It's about personalization. It's about immersion. That's the power of AV in this AI-driven world of event planning. Now, I've spent dozens of hours in recorded conversations on the Events Demystified podcast with other event professionals that agree that AI in event planning is like having a super smart helper, super smart assistant who never sleeps. Who doesn't want that? So when you have that, then you have the capacity and the bandwidth to personalize the experiences for your attendees and streamline every aspect of event management. For example, take Events GPT Copilot. It's like your personal event planning guru. Project Spark by PCMA is another gem. There is Notion AI, which is one of my favorites just because it helps me to organize all my projects. I can make sure that the work gets done. <laughs> Reclaim AI I use to organize my calendar and create space, not just for all the meetings, but also for my mental well-being and for my physical fitness. So I have time to get that workout in so I can be, you know, clear-minded into my next meeting. All of these are tools that you can use and implement as we speak right now. And most of them are free. Like you don't have to pay an arm and a leg just to make use of those. Now, let me share a success story with you to bring this all to life. It was this, not, it wasn't this month, a couple of months ago, we had a conference for about 600 in person with over 2,000 virtual attendees. And thanks to Gloss AI, we were able to create engaging content snippets on the go tailored to our audience. Swell AI was a tool that we used that provided real-time timestamps, ensuring that no moment was lost. And then Read AI transformed those lengthy, you know, Zoom streams into summaries for our attendees, while Zoom AI was the companion that we used to manage our Q&A session seamlessly. The result was an event that was not just successful, but deeply personal and engaging for every attendee, regardless if they're in person or attending virtually. And that is the power of AI in event planning. The future could see a lot of algorithms that can predict attendee preferences in real time, suggesting personalized networking opportunities or dynamically altering event schedules for maximum engagement. AI could even tailor content delivery based on the attendee's learning style, ensuring that each person leaves the event not just entertained, but really enriched. The synergy of AV and AI is not just about enhancing events, it's about creating a new paradigm in event management where every experience is as unique as as every attendee is. And I've actually had a very in-depth conversation about this new paradigm that is happening under our very eyes. It was with one of my future guests, Masood Alibash. And if you have time to check out that episode, it's amazing. It's also mind-blowing because the future is now and the future is happening regardless if we're ready for it or not. Dream with me for a moment and imagine that this perfect integration of AV and AI and the neuroscience of wellness, which I'm also passionate about, can bring such a new depth to the event experience itself. Imagine event design, not just for engagement, but also for well-being. <laughs> AI can analyze biometric data like heart rate or stress levels and adjust the environment in real time for optimal comfort and engagement. This might 
seem like mind blowing, but we're going in that direction. And that could, you know, look like altering lighting for relaxation during high stress discussions or changing the tempo of the music to energize the audience. Neuroscience tells us that our environment significantly impacts our mental state. So it only makes sense that the next step forward is to integrate AV and AI so we can create events that not only captivate, but also promote mental and physical well-being, offering this holistic experience that nourishes as much as it excites. So with all of that being said, a lot of things have been said. I know that this might be over the top, but this is the future. And this is the future I want to live in. This is exciting to me. And I just want to leave you with this one thought. I encourage you to embrace this exciting new world, this time that we're living and take your event planning to the next level. Imagine the possibilities, unleash the potential and redefine the event experience for your attendees. And now as a parting thought, in a world where technology can read and respond to our very emotions, how will we redefine the art of connection and engagement at events. Now, give that some thought and let's explore this brave new world together. Thank you.